the way to the kitchen. Over here next to the refrigerator was a big open space, but now we have more storage and more countertop space. Buyers are gonna love it. You guys got a new stove and microwave? I think that's so great because it looks like a sparkling new kitchen. This kitchen is going to sell this house. All right, Tanya, you know the drill. Same $2,000 budget, a new house, and a tall task nonetheless. So how'd you spend the money? Tall task it was. We decluttered the living room, gave it a fresh new look, and revamped the fireplace. Then we take it into the dining room where we added balance and symmetry by mimicking the column on the other side, the built-in shelf. And we kept the same table, but we bought new chairs. And the big finale, that kitchen with new granite countertops, new storage, and we finished off with paint and accessories. Grand total of 1997. Good job. You take those. I'm gonna start the open house. Sell it, Shane. Let's sell this place. The living room feels really nice and open. I like the painted fireplace. The colors really make it stand out. I like the matching bookcases. This is a great original detail that they've kept in the house here. Original detail, huh? We like to entertain, and this dining room would be really nice. I like the warm colors. It makes a great contrast between the two rooms. This is beautiful. Love it. It feels updated, it feels clean and bright. It feels like you want to cook in here. I could buy it, yeah. As it turned out, our makeover paid off. This experience was so amazing. We'd like to thank everyone for their really hard work. Yep, the house is sold and we're off to Richmond. <laughs> wow, woo! That is so embarrassing! It happens only once a year. It's wall-to-wall -wall fantasy. Yay! It brings out the kid in all of us. And it takes eight talented window designers. That's a good thing. Seven stores across the globe. This is a period of the project called chaos. And 12 months of nail-biting stress. My head is pounding. There is nothing. We have 50,000 gallons of water coming down the street now. I think I just made it worse. Five. All for a magical holiday extravaganza. Three, two, one, one. From New York City, Chicago and Dallas to Denver and Toronto. Yay! Magical holiday scenes are taking over our favorite store windows. But few get to witness the behind the scenes drama that brings each window to life. All the planning and building takes an entire year which explains why designers are stressing out mid-summer. I don't get any sleep all year round. <laughs> That's Paul Oshevsky. The, the robot's going all the way around the tree. King of design for the Macy's windows in New York City. Macy's had started the tradition of Christmas windows back in 1862. Just knowing that we're being a part of history, I challenged myself each year to push it to the limits. Last year's challenge was recreating Santa's wild ride on Christmas Eve, which meant bringing a real working roller coaster into a window. And if that seems extreme, just wait. They're all very complicated this year. <laughs> Extremely. This year, Paul's playing Santa. He's turning Macy's six windows into a giant factory where strange machines and elf-like creatures pop out the must-haves of Christmas, like lights for the tree. The bulb starts to form here, gets examined in x-rays to these guys who pick it up here, goes over here. Yeah, it's very complicated. The windows make it all, from ornaments and snow to stars and tinsel, every bit of it destined for Santa's tree in the final window. The theme this year for our Christmas windows is believe. And what I wanted to do is make people look at all the things around us during Christmas and look at them in a completely different way. Which is why he's been <laughs> obsessed with a certain game. I am totally a kid at heart. I want to get enough close look at it to see how it really operates. 
Hmm, a machine like this could be perfect for making the stars on Santa's tree. This crane research has really got me buried. <laughs> yep, Paul's gonna build a giant crane game for his windows, and it's gonna be interactive. Viewers from outside come up and touch the glass, so the controls are on the outside, and it's an operating crane game. Armed with a little more know-how and a big pink kitty cat, Paul's just praying he can pull this one off. Out west in Dallas, Texas. How's it look? Looks great. Feels good, too. Yet another designer's taking on the holidays, this time for Neiman Marcus. Oh, that's great. Store Vice President Ignaz Gorshek has a history of doing the outrageous. From flying Santas to wildly creative trees, the stars of Neiman's 15-foot Palladian window. And this year? It dawned on me that I really have been rather selfish. I wanted children to come up with this year's tree concept. So he's been visiting children's hospitals and hanging out with school kids. I want everybody's help in coming up with an idea for a very special tree in the downtown Neiman Marcus store. Does that sound cool? Here, we're going to do two boys and two girls. He knew they'd be fun and creative, but this creative? My tree is a football tree. My tree is a tree full of butterflies. It's an earth tree. Would they be big rocks or little rocks? Mine is a star tree. The theme of it is recycling and going green. Do you, do, yes, do you recycle at home? Yeah, yes, you do. Sir. The idea is when you look through at what some of these kids came up with, I, I mean, truly, they've got amazing ideas in here. The problems, the challenges of creating these trees are for the adults. That's the part that's going to be hard. And back at his office, a room full of store execs have to pick their favorites. They settle on six. We're going to bring these trees to life. We're going to take everything from the tree that's made of yarn to the tree that's made of stone. We have a tree that's made of clouds. We have a tree that's made of uh, the earth, the globes. The grand prize winner will be shown in our feature Palladian window, a 15-foot tall uh, tree. At the bay in Toronto, Canada. Exactly. Deadlines are looming for Anna Fernandez. We had more of a curve than this before. And her boss, Denis Fernet. I'm the picky boss. No, 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 oh, that's no, no. She's the good one. <laughs> I don't like the weight. So we are yin and yang. Yin and yang. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Last year, they created a glorious old-fashioned Christmas Eve. And this year, they've dreamed up a fantasy forest where holiday fairies stand guard against an evil ice queen. And we've always wanted to go there, you know, go a little bit more edgy and do something really amazing. But to bring their fairy tale to life, Anna and Denis need to head south to the Big Apple and Spaith Design, a legendary animation company. We have stylists, we've got painters, we've got carpenters, we've got animators. Everything happens here. For weeks now, they've been working on the windows for the bay. Finally, it's time for Anna and Denis to get their first look. I think I see it. Wow. Ooh la. Oh, look. Oh, okay. They're working. But a closer look reveals problems. I don't feel the magic. Lots. I'd lose this. I'd like more definition in the painting. And lots of problems. The blue window was a concern for me. And the green and the red. No, no, no. <laughs> and they're not alone. Back at Macy's, Paul just got a very unexpected call. I got some exciting news. We're going to have even twice as much fun this year. We're going to be working on the Chicago windows. Six more windows at a store with an equally loved holiday tradition. And we got to make those windows incredibly special for Chicago. And one more thing. They've got to be done in just two more months. It's twice as nerve-wracking, <laughs> and I'm twice as nervous. Thank God I work really well under pressure. <laughs> Up next... I love things that turn. One designer, endless piles of junk. These are all the beginnings. It's a transformation you got to see to believe. Then... Lord and Taylor has a secret weapon. All right, down seven. That's it. But is it enough to make their holiday windows a crowd-pleaser? And later, wow. the imaginations of six children thrill thousands in Dallas, Texas. I'm, I'm speechless. 
This program brought to you by Build-A-Bear Workshop, where the best gifts are made. Hi, I'm Maxine Clark. I started Build-A-Bear Workshop 11 years ago as a place where families like yours could have a fun and unforgettable experience together. We believe the simple things in life, like the hug of a teddy bear, should be within everyone's reach. This holiday season, when you come into Build-A-Bear Workshop, you'll find more animals priced at just $10 than ever before. So come by, we'd love to see you, and let's have some holiday fun together. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a work of art. Grandpa, it's just a sandwich. Ah, but for the finishing touch. A J for Joanna. Wait, stand back. Incredible. Not just one masterpiece, but two. Jif uses the finest peanuts to make a rich, peanuttier peanut butter. Now, who can I share this with? Grandpa. How about you? Jif, number one choice of choosy moms. Grandpas love it, too. A Verizon phone. Thanks, honey. There's more. <gasps> oh, no way, a digital camera. <laughs> There's more. A music player. Uh-huh. Wow, a GPS with turn-by-turn -turn directions? There's more. Verizon Wireless has the gifts that give more, like the LG Dare, Chocolate 3, and now get the NV2 for $79.99. Verizon Wireless. It's Macy's Designer Sweater Sale, the perfect gift. Save big on our best designer sweaters for him and her. Shop our famous brands for just $29.99 to $59.99. Buy one, get one free on our entire stock of men's Izod sweaters and pants. Save on designer sweaters for him and her, just $29.99 to $59.99. At Macy's Designer Sweater Sale. Because you know you can count on us for the perfect gift. That's the magic of Macy's. Got a passion for interior design? The search is on for the next HGTV Design Star. Head to HGTV.com slash Design Star to find out how you can try out for Season 4. If you've got what it takes, apply now at HGTV.com slash Design Star. The garland at the White House is almost a thousand feet long. That's a whole lot of deck in the halls. Celebrate the nation's capital with a grand tradition of grand design. White House Christmas 2008 premieres Wednesday night at 9, 8 central on HGTV. Tis the season for wondrous holiday windows. And in New York City at Lord & Taylor, inspiration comes from one very famous street. We treat the windows almost like a big production, like a Broadway production. This year's big show has designer Manuel Hania pulling out all the stops as he brings to life their latest theme. My favorite Christmas traditions. We broke it down the six different windows as my favorite Christmas cards, my favorite Christmas songs, my favorite Christmas treats. So right now, it's just leaning there. For months now, he's been as busy as Santa. It's coming along. Working with his own team of elves at an animation company called Spathe Design. Yeah, it looks good. I'm very excited about everything that I saw here, the emotions, the colors, you know, the, all the details. Just one window can have hundreds of tiny details. And all of it's got to be moved back to the store to super tight windows. But when it comes to big moves, Manuel's got a one-up on the other guys. Lord and Taylor has a secret weapon. Right now, we are literally under the sidewalk. We are the only store in the world that has a hydraulic system. Down 13. We can bring the, the window all the way down to the basement. Once everything is done, we just have to raise the car up to the street level. Just one teeny weeny concern. Is the gate downstairs closed? The system is now 94 years old. Still not moving. In Denver, Colorado. Most people's windows would stop about right here. An abundance of space has another designer starting to stress. Hello. It's really raw. I have no walls. I have no electricity. Hi, I'm Lonnie Hanson, the creative director of the Museum of Outdoor Arts. Lonnie's got to magically transform 100 square feet of windows in one of Denver's trendiest shopping villages. Hi there. This year, what I have up my sleeve 
is a collection of machines, devices, and spices that have been delivered by this mysterious wizard-type character. He has dropped off all of these wonderful gypsy wagons, all full of these inventions. Each window will show how the curious inventions made from all that stuff can cure holiday stress. For instance, we'll have a bottle of patience. This is a gigantic ringer down here. It rings out all your worry into optimism. I love things that turn. It's supposed to be gaga. It's supposed to be wondrous. We are so serious. We are so stressed out that, yeah, I hope that the, that the humor comes through this. Back in New York City, there's a new face taking over the windows at Saks Fifth Avenue designer Julio Gomez. Julio is this amazingly talented young man. I'm excited about handing you know, the reins over to Julio. But Tim's got a big surprise for the new guy. This year's theme for sax is really out there. It's the funky, hippified story of a flake like Mike. Not really warm and fuzzy. <laughs> no, not so much. <laughs> a plastic dinosaur. Plastic dinosaur. That's hippies. So nice. Hippies. Cavemen. Okay. I think you can make it work. We'll see what what the public's reaction is to it. You'll always have that little bit of fear in the back of your head. Over at Macy's, Paul's had time to let the shock of doing an extra six windows soak in. We decided we wanted Chicago to have the same theme as the New York City windows. Which means a wild Christmas factory where zany creatures and machines make holiday decorations. But with less than eight...